Summer here. Today I'm going to do a review of Big Little Lies by Lainey Moriarty and let me say this book was amazing. It really was. Um, you know I've read her before. Well real quickly let me just tell you about my fiasco to getting to reading to getting to the point where I was able to read this book. I originally had this book um, be it Edelweiss I think that's how it's pronounced and I just had so many things on my plate in July I just couldn't get to it that's when this book came out by the way is July and um, so I ended up not being able to finish it before um, July 31st which is when it expired so then I ended up at the library and I picked up the hardcover and I was going to read that but of course since it was a new release it only had like seven days on it or something like that ten days so of course I didn't finish it in time so I had to return it maybe it was 14 days I don't know I had to return it so I ended up buying the ebook on the 15th of August and I don't know why I didn't just buy the ebook to begin with because you know what I bought The Husband's Secret and I bought Alice What Alice Forgot and I loved both of those books so I don't know why I just didn't go ahead and just purchase it um which is what I ended up having to do so that I could read it because I just kept things kept getting in the way I got distracted with like I said in my wrap up video um, I was meaning to read this but I put it aside for opposition then I had to read the book club book which was The Silent Wife so then of course that got pushed back twice so eventually I read it and I'm glad I did I wish I hadn't pushed it back because I really enjoyed it um basically this story is um about three women and their families and their community like the community of families of the kindergartners all in the same school so the book starts with the first day of kindergarten well actually the book starts with a murder and then we flash back at however six months ago or however however many months it was to the first day of kindergarten where all these women meet um there's madeline there's celeste and jane they're the main women in this story they um become fast friends and they all have their individual issues to deal with and their children cause their own issues and it's just a lot it's like a drama it really is so for example Madeline Madeline she has a teenage daughter who's really a brat she she is remarried to her her husband seems very supportive of her but her ex oh my god her ex why he doesn't seem like a bad guy right now you know he kind of left her high and dry and he lives in the same neighborhood with his new wife who also has a kindergartner going to school with her kindergartner who is the child she had with her new husband so of course you know there's this tug of war between her husband her ex-husband and herself regarding their teenage daughter and then they have to deal with each other when their kindergartners go to the same school so you know there's this and she's kind of like the queen bee of everyone and you know people kind of just follow her lead so she's got her own you know little click and her own little things going on and then you throw into that Celeste and Celeste is like Miss Perfect on the outside but she's a wreck on the inside her marriage is not the best it's one of the worst and she has two twin boys and you know like I said everything outside everyone says oh Celeste has the most beautiful clothes she's so picture perfect Celeste is this Celeste is that but little do they know she is a hot mess really really she is and then there's Jane timid quiet young single mom Jane who shows up she's new to their community and she's really there to get a fresh start with her son um, we know that there was something really bad that happens to her in her past and I guess she's trying to deal with that in the midst of this on the first day of school Jane's son is accused of bullying someone <laughs> so after that things just take off everyone is like looking at Celeste I'm sorry at Jane and her son Jane is wondering if her son did this even though he said he didn't so it's this whole like parental argument amongst all the parents about bullying and all these other things and the mother of the child that says she was bullied she just like goes off on a rampage she just takes off doesn't really ask any questions doesn't really delve deep um so as everything evolves, um, of course, the, the temperatures rise and everyone gets angry. And of course, amongst the three women, the three storylines, things are developing and getting crazy. But it, it all comes to a head at Trivia Night. And Trivia Night is where the murder happens. So, you know, that's what I loved about this book. 
is we had like a six month view, a three month view I think it was, I think it was a couple weeks before the trivia night, and then like the day before the trivia night. So we see like how these things are building. And you know, one of the side notes on this, I think that was hilarious how like this is in the form where there is a detective interviewing these parents. And that's kind of how the story is untold. And then you see how these parents like totally like make up lies about like each other and like totally assume things and gossip about each other you think they were in high school it was so bad you know like uh, the first morning i'll give you a quick little it's a little spo little spoiler but not big um the first morning jane celeste and madeline they go and they have coffee together and they end up having mimosas they come back to the school they're giggling having a good time but they are not drunk they are not drunk i think they drink one bottle amongst the three of them, you know, watered down with orange juice, and they were just on a happy high. You know, they were giggling and having a good time. But other women didn't like that they were not included in that good time. So, of course, these women are telling the police, oh, they were drunk off their asses, A, B, and C. Oh, my gosh. It's like, come on, you guys. Come on. Grow up. But this goes on the whole book. People are making assumptions and lying on each other and tattling and making things up. It's really, it's outrageous to see how these parents act. And you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if people, if parents act like that in the real world. I'm just saying. But um, anyway, so we get to the night and when we find out who is killed, I'm like, yes, thank goodness. Thank goodness the person that is killed is who I want it to be. And I gotta say, Moriarty has that skill. She's able to weave so many characters like these women and their husbands and their friends and their enemies she's able to weave all these people together put all these stories together into one tight conclusion and everything falls into place and everything is just cohesive and there are no loose ends and it's just it's great um yeah what would I rate Big Little Lies? I would rate this five out of five bookmarks. For me, this book was near perfect. Um, like I said, as you can tell, I just really loved it. I loved the characters. I loved the action. I loved how fast paced it was. Um, there was so many intricate storylines, but they all came together just perfectly. And you know, the realistic ending was the icing on the cake. You guys know I love a realistic ending, but it was a feel good aha that's what you get ending and I like those as well so if you've read Mariachi before then I know you've probably already read this and if you haven't shame on you you should go pick it up right now because it's worth reading and I think you would enjoy it if you're new to her you've never read her before I definitely recommend this book as well as um, the other two I mentioned earlier which were um, The Husband's Secret and What Alice Forgot I read Alice Forgot, um, what Alice Forgot a few years ago, and that is what initially turned me on to this author. And after that, I've just enjoyed every book that I've read from her. She has a few more that I haven't read, which eventually I will. But yeah, that's that's it, you guys. Check it out, um, please. And if you've read this, please go ahead and share with me your thoughts on this book, because I know you have some that you're dying to get out because... Yeah, let's talk about it below. So leave me a comment and I will um, reply as soon as I can. And if you want to chat on Twitter or whatever, Facebook, Instagram, you know I'm around. You know the places to find me. And until next time, enjoy Big Little Lies and happy reading, guys. Bye.